Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In College Station, they call them the dear old Texas Aggie. And this group is ready to show some of that old fight. Everybody up for Reveille, and the Aggies hope they can deliver a victory at Kyle Field. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And this season is officially underway. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 18-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. inside and he's quickly brought down. He's scrambling. He's got an opening. He decides to run with it. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. And he's tackled at the 41. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. He's taken down at about the 41. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. That makes it first and ten. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Second down and 12. Ball on the 48-yard line. Tackle at the 44. That's a game of eight on the play. Third down. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Gonzalez awaiting the return. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Texas A&M's coaching staff, the 
fans. I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. And he tackles him hard at the 26-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And they make the stop at the 35. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. Throws into coverage, just picked off. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. From the 47-yard line, first down. Ross on the inside handoff. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 46. Dumps it out left to the running back. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Six-yard pickup. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Quick throw. He's at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 16-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six-play, 48-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. It's fielded at the two. Across the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 36-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Kennedy was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own 36. Man, 
Can't tack on any yardage. On the run. <laughs> tackle made at the 40. Makes the tackle. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. Seven nothing. Owl. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Larry, Larry. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Ready. Great. Ah. Got some open field. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 16. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Tries to buy some time. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Inside handoff. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. That's a great tackle at the 47. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Run play, and he'll lose yards. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, Probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 45. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he's tackled around the 46 yard line. Number 95 makes the tackle at the 46 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Mike 36. Mike 36. Let's go, deep. Watch the safety creep. 
Makes it to the 37. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. Tight, tight down, tight down. Here we go. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Check. Check. They'll get him for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 29. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That'll make it third and one. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. He scrambled. It's on the ground. Scooped up by the defense. Got the corner. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The Owls saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Quick out to his receiver. He's brought down in the open field. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. 57 the mic. Watch 57. They'll spread the field with five wide. Nice run, and he's brought down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Slings it. He's at the 40. Tackle at about the 35. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 24. There's a strike complete. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Aggies. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Cowboys were ranked 16th. After that W, they hope to slide up a few spots next week. This one was tight. The Cowboys win it, 23-17. In other action, the Gators enter today's game ranked 10th in the land, but knowing there is no margin for error to hold on to a spot in the top 10. And for Florida, they're trying to win their first game of the year. Florida's on top, 6-6. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Parks Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Five wide. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. He's scrambling. He's out to the 30. 
And down he goes at midfield. That's good for a gain of 30 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 36. Mike 36. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want none of this. That makes it second and six. His tight end open and he drops it. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Swiss, my Swiss, my Swiss. Green 19. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 42 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That brings up fourth and three. He's on the run. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. That's a big-time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in mid-season form. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. Texas A&M just took their first time out. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Texas A&M is up seven. He airs it out. So the Aggies are going to call their second time out. Scrambling. Brought down at the 22. Texas A&M's called their final timeout. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects them here in this situation. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and it's good. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. We've still got a half of football remaining. Texas A&M's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm not sure many people saw that one coming. This team was supposed to take... I thought this was your lock of the week, Reese Davis. Uh, it was, and that shows you why I should leave the picking to you because uh, <laughs> this, this was not a good selection. I didn't think there was any way that this team would come into halftime and be down by two scores. Uh, nobody did. I mean, I, I don't see how you, how you got to this point. I, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what we just saw. And... We sit here all week and we break down strengths and weaknesses and they're definitely better and stronger across the board, but they haven't found a way to put things together. And, you know, you get 30 minutes at the half and it's time to give the, you know, rally the troops speech and get everybody going and, and try to understand that you got to come out in the second half and you can't be flat. You can't take this opponent for granted because you've already dug yourself a pretty big hole through the first half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. 
Williams fields it at the one. And down he goes at the 27 yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Get it again. Runs it right. Nice pickup. First down. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. Taken down at the 27. That's a game of 20 right there. That makes it first and 10. And he hits him hard at the 19 yard line. Up second and one. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Check, check. Gray 95. Gray 95. Gray 95. Gray 95. <laughs> Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Runs through a defender, and he's in. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. So the Aggie staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Yeah, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. It's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. 87 the ball. 87 the ball. Three, five, five, five. He scrambled. Dives forward. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. He goes out of bounds. Around the 28-yard line. Gonzalez waiting the return. Looking for the corner, and he's taken down at the 48 yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. 
This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. We throw, caught, touchdown. He's ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws. That's his fourth. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Gators arrived today ranked 10th in the land, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Toledo... They take to the air and find Pater. Early moments of the fourth quarter. 31 to seven in our game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Turner fields it at the two. They'll bring him down at the 32. Texas A&M's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. That makes it second and eight. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Brought down in the open field. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. That brings up fourth and three. Gonzalez is back deep to return the punt. <laughs> Gonzalez takes it to 28, and he's hammered down. Return for a gain of eight yards. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Taken down at the 46. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13.
from their own 43-yard line. It's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. Scrambling around. And he's level at the 41. That's a gain of three on the play. So with one quarter remaining, the Aggies lead 31-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They come out on an empty backfield. Let's go! 180! He's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and ten. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Set. Red 18. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 31. He's on the run, and they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. Throws this one out to the left. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Mike 36. Mike 36. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Ready! Check, check! Stand ready! Stand ready! Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And down he goes. Around the 46-yard line. That makes it 37. tries to buy some time and he's sacked this kid just doesn't stop that's his second sack of the game that brings up fourth and seven and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down gets his running back and it's knocked out Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll bring him down at the 43. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. 
Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Give to the tailback. Breaks one. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down. Six yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Makes it out to about the 20. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide. Feeds it to the back. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 17. run and he's brought down and that's a first down first down and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock Texas A&M staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.